Hey, Zudoragi here, coming to another video review. And today, as you can see, I'll be taking a look at Voyager Class Starscream from Generations War for Cybertron Earthrise. Yes, I know, I said I wasn't going to get this figure because I already had the power of the Prime Starscream, but I kind of wanted to see what he was like, and I gotta admit, he's pretty good. Spoiler alert. So to start things off, here's his size compared to a soda can. Pretty much what you expect from a Voyager class jet. Colors are Starscream. Medium gray, or I guess light gray. Red, blue, white, purple, a little bit of gunmetal gray, and a little bit of silver. So, oh, and unlike the Power of the Primes version, transparent orange. And below. And as many have said, this is basically an updating of the Classics Starscream to slightly bigger and with a slightly better transformation and more posability. Again, I'll get into that later. And overall, yeah, jet mode's not too bad. I mean, it does have a lot of stuff hanging down under there, but that's Starscream. What do you expect? There isn't really a whole lot he can do in this mode. You can sort of flap the wings if that does anything for you. There actually is a fair amount of detail in the cockpit. Not that it comes in comes into any effect. Would have been really neat if they had molded this in such a way that you could put a Titan Master in there. Because honestly, I really like the Titan Masters and I wish that they would have future figures incorporate them in some way. Not necessarily as a head, but like able to sit in them or something. That That's just me. He does have his accessories, his null ray cannons. Very hollow on the bottom, but yeah, they look fairly decent. And there are so many places you can put them. You can plug them on the underside of the wings here. I can get it to line up like that if you want. You can plug it in in here. You can plug it in over here. Like, well, that's rather tight. You can even plug it in on the elevator if you want. Yeah, you can even take an extra one and plug it in up here. But th there's just so much you can do with all these ports he has on him. For me personally, I like putting them into this port because they stick out the least and honestly they kind of work. They kind of look like, you know, just missiles or guns on a jet. Yeah. His transformation is familiar but finicky. And unfortunately, there are some bits that are... Ugh. But to start things off, flip up the elevators. Take the main wings, and they tab in in two spots, here and here. And just get them unsecured, and then flip all this up on this double hinge. Should soft lock there. Same thing on this side. Untab it, flip it up. There you go. Take this panel and flip it down. Take these leg panels and just flip them open. And then this back part will tab into the main part of the fuselage. Just undo that. Extend the legs down. There are tabs on his knees that will go into slots on those leg panels. Just like that. Go ahead and split the legs. Untab the tail wings from the main part of the body. Swing it back, and when you do, the heel will go with it, which is nice. Flip up the toe. Flip up the toe. Untab it from the fuselage. Flip this back. There you have the legs. Oh, and flip down the crotch plate. 
And then one thing I don't like is the way that this secures is there are posts on the inside that go into the ports on the shoulders, which you would think would be enough, but instead they have these tabs that go over this lip here. And if you look, there is already some paint chipping because the only way to get this over is you actually have to sort of wrench it so that you can clear that gap and open up like that. Bring the arms out. Take the nose cone and just separate it from there. Bring it down, turn it around, and then collapse it the rest of the way against the back. And then swing this back up and this section will go into that slot right there. And then this has several slots or notches that will line up with these tabs there. Line all that up. There you have that. For the arms, flip open the forearm. Maybe. It's very tight. Extend it on this double hinge. Flip this down and this tab will go into that slot right there. Just flip down the hand, straighten the arm, do the same thing over here, flip up this part of the arm, and it just tabs in right there. Extend this out, tab that in, bring down the fist, get the arm in place, untab the nose cone, and it will all just sit back here, nice and out of the way. And there you have Voyager class Starscream from Earthrise in his robot mode. Here's his size compared to a soda can. It's Starscream. No, Starscream, it's a Voyager. It's a Voyager class size. His colors aren't much different in this mode. That same light gray, as well as the blue, red, black, gunmetal gray, white, purple, silver, but there and yellow and translucent orange, but there is now a little bit of a very dark gunmetal gray just on his face. <clears throat> Excuse me. View from above. And below. His posability is fairly good. I mean, it's a the War for Cybertron trilogy figures. They all have great posability. His head's on a ball joint, so it can go up and down quite far. Tilt side to side. Go all the way around. Arms can go out to the side that far. Can go up only about that far because uh, the wings get in the way. You can move them back, but it doesn't do anything for the posability. It just makes it easier to store them. You can swivel. There is a swivel just below the shoulder. A single joint in the arm. Bends just over 90 degrees. Nothing at the wrist, unfortunately, aside from maybe that if you want to break his wrist. Nothing at the waist, unfortunately. You can bring the front skirt up. Legs can move forward that far. Back, not really at all. Legs can move out to the side, barely. Swivel just below the hip. Fairly decent knee bend. You have a very nice ankle tilt. Toes can move up or toes can move down, and the heel can move down if you need it to. So yeah, overall his posability is quite good. Unfortunately below the waist his posability is kind of naff, but overall it's not too bad. And he has his same accessories, just his null rays. And you now have even more ports. You can plug it in here and here, on the underside of his arm, 
you can have you can just plug it in back here for to store you can have him just wield them in his hands but they're very loose but what you're supposed to do and his classic is there is a port on his shoulder post there just line those up Oop. this didn't get lined up properly there we go And now his null rays are on his shoulders, just like they should be. And they look pretty nice. I mean, I like them. I think this is one of the best non-masterpiece star screams we've ever had in a long time. Posability is good, design's good, transformations a bit irritating, but overall pretty good. Overall, I think it's a pretty good figure. This has been my review of War for Cybertron Earthrise Voyager Class Starscream. Until next time, bye bye